Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I'm going to be doing a makeup tutorial for blue eyes. I recently picked up some blue contacts and one of you guys on my Instagram said that I should do a tutorial for blue eyes. So here I am today filming that. I am wanting to do one for green eyes as well. So let me know if that's something that you would be interested in seeing. Just let me know in the comments down below. But before we get started with this tutorial today, I want to mention that I will be using the 15 piece brush set from Vanity Planet. So I did get sent this brush set over my way. This video is not sponsored though, but I do have a code with them and that is a commission code. So if you do end up using my code with them, I will get some commission off it. I just want to make that loud and clear with you guys. This brush set is originally $100. If you use my code blend with Judy, it will save you 70% off, which will bring it down to $30 and that is a bargain if I do see some myself and I just think for $30 this brush set is definitely definitely worth it There are some brushes in here that I'm gonna be adding to my everyday routine But yeah, I will obviously leave all details and info in the description box down below So if you are interested in this brush kit, then definitely just open that up But that's pretty much it for the intro um, If you guys want to see how I created this look then just continue watching Okay, so let's go ahead and get started with the tutorial. First things first, I'm gonna put in my contacts in. These are Desio contacts in the shade Romantic Blue. The reason why I like to put my contacts in first is just because when I put my contacts in, I tend to do this to my eye. So I'm doing this to my eye. I am placing my finger on top of my lid. If there was eyeshadow on top of my eyes, then obviously that's going to move and we don't want that to happen. So I'm just going to pop in my contacts now. You can pop them after your whole makeup is done. If you already have blue eyes and obviously you can disregard this step. So for my foundation today, I'll be using the Hourglass Vanish Stick Foundation. I am in the shade Sand. You guys know I love this foundation. And then I'll be taking a beauty sponge to blend all of that in. I'm gonna dab this into my skin. I'm not gonna swipe. I wanna get the maximum coverage from this foundation. And when you dab it in, you'll get the most coverage. If you're swiping, you're swiping off a lot of the coverage that you could potentially be getting. Taking my ColourPop No Filter Concealer in the shade Medium 30, I'm going to use this to cover up my dark circles. And then I'll be taking the shade Golden 40 and just covering up some blemishes that I have on the sides of my head. I'm going to first blend out the concealer that's on my chin and then on the sides of my head. And then lastly, I'm going to blend out the concealer under my eyes. The reason why I like to leave this last is because it has a bit of time to set. So that way it's going to give you a little bit more coverage. Also with my concealer, I like to bring it on top of my eyelid to act as an eye primer as well. With my RCMA No Color Powder, I'm going to use this to bake under my eyes. So I just like to do one dab right where I crease. And then everything else I just blend out. And then to set the rest of my face, I am using the Wet n Wild Cover All Press Powder. And I'm going to be using the Vanity Planet Flat Top Slippling Brush to set that into my face. I love how this brush is very flat and it's very compact. That it's really going to give you a little bit more coverage and it's really going to set everything in place. I just like to stipple this into my skin, pressing it in, making sure nothing moves throughout the day. So now I'm just going to quickly do my brows. I'm taking my Morphe Micro Brow Pencil in the shade Mocha to outline my brow shape. And then I'll be taking my Anastasia Brow Powder in the shade Dark Brown. And I like to use a mixture of both sides and I just like to fill in where I outline. And then to set my brows in place, I'll be taking the ColourPop Brow Boss Gel. And I'm just going to set my brow hairs like upwards. And then the last step to doing my brows, I will take um, a bit of concealer and using my Vanity Planet Angled Precision Brush. This brush is just like on an angle and it's very, very thin and flat and fine. So it's perfect for carving out the brows. 
So I just like to take a little bit of concealer and just go under the tail and the arch of my brow and just clean that tail up a little. So now we're moving on to the eyes. I'm going into my Shannon XO BH Cosmetics palette. I will be doing a three demo on this very, very soon. So just keep a watch out on that. But I'm gonna take this shade over here, which is called Clarity. And I'm just gonna use this to set the concealer that we placed down earlier. I'm gonna use my Vanity Planet Large Cream Shadow Brush to set that in place. Then I'll be taking my ColourPop Give It To Me Straight palette and I'll be taking this shade over here which is called Truth Hurts and this is going to be our transition shade. I am going to be using the ColourPop Fluffy Blending Brush and I'm going to put this straight into the crease using circular and windshield wiping motions. You guys know the drill. So if you guys look at the color wheel, opposite the color blue is kind of like red and oranges so I wanted to play with terracotta shades like terracotta orangey shades and I think that would really complement blue eyes really really nicely and I really do like the contrast between the two shades And then we'll be going back into the Shannon XOBH palette, taking this shade here called Terracotta. I am going to be using my Vanity Planet Medium Blender Brush. And I'm going to start packing this all over my eyelid, focusing the product close to my lash line, and then once again, blending what is ever left into the transition. I love how the um, brushes in here are really small and you can get very precise. Because I do have smaller eyelid space, it is, you know, common sense to use smaller brushes. And then I'll be taking the shade down here called a Silhouette on my Vanity Planet Smudging Brush. And I'm going to use this shade to smudge on my lash line. We are going to be putting a wing liner on top, but for those of you that don't want to put a wing liner on, I think... This is a really nice look to do, just like a really smoky wing. I'm going to be making it more dark on the outer corner than it is on the inner corner. I just like that effect of having like a darker outer V. And then for my lower lash line, I'll be going back into the shade Terracotta on my Vanity Planet Crease Shader Brush. And I'm just going to run this from outer corner to inner corner of my eye, right under my waterline. And then I'll be taking my Inglot Gel Liner and I'm going to be giving myself a wing as usual using my Makeup Geek Bent Eyeliner Brush. And then for my lower lash line, I'll be taking the ColourPop Creme Gel Liner in Mr. Bing, which is my absolute favorite. I think putting a brown pencil in the lower lash line is just going to bring your eyes out a lot more as well. I'm just going to go back in with that black shade on my shader brush and just kind of smoke it out a little bit. Okay, now I'm gonna curl my lashes. The mascara that I'm gonna be using today is the Tarte Tartus Mascara. So now we're gonna move back on to the face. I am taking my Anastasia Contour Kit. I'm gonna be taking this shade over here, which is called Havana. Using my Vanity Planet Kabuki brush, I'm going to use this to bronze up my skin. I love this Kabuki brush to bronze up my skin. I just think it gives such an even coat of bronzer. It does not look patchy whatsoever. Then I'll be taking this shade over here, which is called Fawn, and I'm going to use this to contour my nose. The brush that I'm using is the ColourPop Shader Brush. And 
then just taking my beauty sponge just to blend it out a little. You don't want any harsh contour lines. Then for blush, I'll be using my Wet n Wild Color Icon Blush in a Mellow Wine, of course, my favorite. And I'll be using my Vanity Planet Powder Slash Blush Brush. Why is that so hard to say? And then for highlighter, I'm taking my ColourPop in Nude Endo palette and I'll be using the shade over here called On The Loose. For my brush, I'll be using the Vanity Planet Large Fan Brush. Then I'll be taking my Vanity Planet Rounded Liner Brush using the same highlighter. I'm going to place this right at the arch of my brow bone and then also in the inner corners of my eye. As for my lip color, I have two lip colors that I'm going to decide from, which is On Repeat and Foolish. They're both from the ColourPop Luxe Lipsticks. They're both like an orangey base lipstick. So I'm going to go for Foolish because I feel like it's a bit more orangey. So first what I like to do is just get the product and the pigment on my lips first. And then I will take my Vanity Planet Lip Liner Lip Brush. And then I'll just take the product and go around the edges and get really defined with the brush. So to complete this look, I'm going to go off camera and pop on some lashes. The lashes that I'm planning to wear today are the Bador Light from House of Lashes. And this, guys, is a completed makeup look. I hope you guys liked it. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up for me. And also comment down below if you do want to see the green eye tutorial as well. I'll be more than happy to film that because I freaking love contact. I just think they're so, so much fun. But before I sign off for today, I want to just quickly mention how to use the extra three brushes that I didn't use in today's tutorial. So the first brush is the concealer brush. This brush I personally would use for any shimmer shadows that I'm going to place on my eyes. I would probably wet it and place it right in the inner corner here. But in today's video, I only used all matte, so I couldn't use this brush today. And then we have the liquid foundation brush. Personally, I would use this brush for any facial mask that I have. So I have this one here from Timi. This one is a clay mask, and I don't like applying this with my fingers. I will always use these kind of brushes, and I just love the short handle of it, and also how just soft and thin the brush is. So that's gonna be like my mask brush and then we have the angled contour brush i mean this can explain itself of course it's for contouring but i personally do not contour i only bronze up my skin so um, i do not use this brush like every day but for certain looks for certain tutorials i do pick up these kind of brushes here and there so that will come in handy for sure for those of you guys that are beginners hopefully me explaining how i use all these brushes will be helpful to you and maybe if you guys have this set at home and there are some brushes in the set that you don't use Maybe I showed you a different way that you could use it. But yeah, that is everything for today. I just want to thank you guys so, so much for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.